Hey guys, it's me, Amy, with A Taylor AI One, and I'm reorganizing the kitchen once again. I think I've done this twice already in 10 months, but I went up to the attic and I pulled down all of my utility, or not utility, my cooking stuff. Finish up your video. I got a question for you when you're done, though. All right, I probably have an answer. Okay, so we pulled everything down. There was a lot more in this stuff, and I'm going to show you what what we or me decided to do. He's nodding his head <laughs> as if he had anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. I mowed the lawn today. Yes, you mowed the lawn. Okay, guys. So it's a mess in here because of the reorganization, but I have so much cooking stuff from being a chef and um, having to try out recipes and da da da. You know the deal. So anyway, so I do a lot of cooking, so I have a lot of appliances. In my kitchen here, at the house is just a little bit too small for me. This is all the stuff that I've collected from kitchen stores that were going out of business or Walmart. Uh, Kroger has usually a buy one get one on kitchen stuff. And then here's the shelving. That's the small one of course. This is the larger one. I put shelving here to hold uh, some of the major appliances and I have one here that's going to hold the plates and stuff and then pots and pans down there then of course there's the food uh, for this room and then I have a closet and the garage with stockpile in it both food and non-food um, so anyways I just want to show you what I've done it, like I said it's a mess but um, here I discovered, you know, if you're short of space like I am, you know, you got to find it. And I need to clean this off. It hasn't been cleaned in 10 months. But anyways, I use these bins and I just stick them. I don't know. You'll see another video. These are all my measuring stuff because I have so many measuring cups and so many uh, measuring spoons and stuff like that. And then this was actually a couponing bin. I had tried to use uh, this t type of a system for the inserts. Both of these bins. Both of these bins. Sorry, Stevie's trying to get in my way, guys. Okay. So this is, you know, different condiments from restaurants and everything. And then these are just... Oh, there's the parchment paper I was looking for. I knew that was somewhere. And then uh, to go silverware and all for Stevie's lunches. Mm -hmm. Now I put this up. This is the magnet magnetic uh, board, and then I just put that up because I just thought it looked kind of cute there. Over here, this is what the main thing is. Now I want to tell you that you know. No, these are not the only ones I own of each and every one of these things, except for all the knives are out. But these are all just extras. I mean, I still got, I got to figure out how I can hang up that rolling pin because I've got a couple of rolling pins, so I don't need uh, both of them to be in storage. See, this is all the stuff that I do use, which is in here. A good tip if you're a baker, or not a baker, I guess, whichever one, is what I do is um, I don't usually use the piping bag. I'll use a Ziploc, um, but put the pieces inside of it so that way you don't lose the uh, tips. Just a odd thing right there, I'll tell you. And this is my cast iron stand. I like to have the cast iron out where I can see it. And this is something I really wanted to point out. I bought this at Walmart, oh, and it's a actual uh, holder for your wraps and clings and all. And what I did was I just nailed it. Actually, I had to use screws because I didn't have any nails. So this way I have some room here if I um, need some place to put something. Also, these here are these racks. And again, you get them at Walmart for a couple of dollars because I have got two cabinets full of baking stuff. So 
I set these out because these are my most used baking things. And then that cutting board is not supposed to be there. I have another rack just like this one with all my cutting boards. And then I went and I hung, like I said, the stuff is just extras. So I hung that up. Oh, and then I used the, oops, way up there, I'm stretched. Yeah, um, no, no, okay. it's fine, okay. thank you. Okay. I put the larger slow cookers and all are going to go up top up there because we don't use them every single day. So, oh, yeah, and the parchment paper. I hung this up. This is cheesecloth. Because you just, you know, this is stuff that me, myself, don't use a lot at home, but it's nice to have when I need it. Anyway, so I'll put a hole in that so I can hang it. So, anyways, guys, so... Basically, what do y'all think so far? I'm going to back up and kind of try to show everything here. There's all the stuff on that wall, and then we come around to that wall. And then I have all this here, and I will bring you an update hopefully soon. All right, guys, live, love, and eat. Let me know what you think.